so in this session we will continue the legacy of our organic name reaction series right till now we have uh, completed the uh, 18th organic name reaction on my youtube channel you can go and watch and today we will discuss the the new name reaction that is a chichi bebin pyridine synthesis okay chichi bebin pyridine synthesis okay so in this reaction we are gonna to make a pyridine in the product right this is basically a synthesis it is a method to make a pyridine right so that's why the name is a uh, the name is based on a scientist right so this is a chichi bebin pyridine synthesis and this is our general uh, scheme uh, now you are seeing on the screen this uh, uh, this is a general overview of this reaction right and we have taken in the substrate aldehyde rcho okay rcho we have taken here right aldehyde and we have taken a uh, reagent here is the ammonia okay and you will get a product pyridine right this is our product pyridine but we have to know the mechanism how how this pyridine form this aldehyde and this ammonia what is happening under the reaction what will be the mechanism so now let's start the mechanism okay okay so we have a uh, three moles of three mole of uh, three molecules of we have taken aldehyde rcho rcho cho right this one and we have taken here ammonia nh3 right nh3 we have taken so what happened uh, for the first uh, for the first molecule for the first mole of this aldehyde will react with the nh3 right so you all know that the nh3 will will do attack on this carbonyl because this this carbonyl is a electron deficient center okay so that's why it attack and this bond will be gonna shift on this oxygen and then you will get something like this co minus right and here you have h and here and here you have nh2 nh3 plus right so and here because the um, because there is a positive charge on the nitrogen so to make a more stable and here in this compound there is a o minus so this o minus will take a proton from nh3 plus right so will take proton it means that there is a proton exchange here plus minus of h plus it means o minus gains a proton and but nh3 plus will lose a proton that's why we have to show here plus minus h plus and now you will get something like this rcoh and you will get uh, nh2 here and you will get h right and now what happened uh, so in our solution in our solution there is a uh, acidic medium so that's why we have this oh will take a proton from the solution right and it will take proton and it will become r ch2 c oh2 plus and now the oh2 plus will become a good living group and that's why here is the nh2 is attached to this carbon here we have hydrogen so because in this molecule we have a good living group so that's why that's why what happened and this nitrogen have a lone pair so this nitrogen lone pair will push their lone pair to remove this group so so what happened this lone pair will go on this carbon and then this will group will be leave right and now you will get something like this r ch2 c double bond nh2 uh, one second nh here is a plus charge because now the nitrogen has a four bond okay now what happened you have to just uh, do deprotonation okay now you will get now you will get imine okay imine rch2c double bond 
N H and this is called imine formation this is called imine I M I N E okay so uh, we have got a imine first of all what we have do uh, the one molecule of uh, aldehyde will react with the NH3 just uh, nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl position and then this happen and then you will get imine formation okay now what happened because we have a two molecules are two molecules of aldehyde are left in the solution so we have to do uh, so we have to move further ahead right so let me erase this all I hope you uh, I will not erase okay because uh, maybe you need this reaction in the further so let me something wait 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 I will just uh, making this a smaller and keep till the reaction till we not get the product Yes. So I so I, I am making this a smaller, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. So fine. So what happened now? You have got the here in mind, right? Now the we have two molecules of aldehyde are left in the solution. So what happened? We have a R. C double bond O H here because we have two molecules here right R C double bond H here now here is a hydrogen here now what happened because here is a uh, we have NH3 in the solution so this NH3 now will now will do acid base reaction we will take a proton from this uh, from this carbon because this proton is a more acidic right so that's why this bond will be gonna break and here enol will be formed right here enol will be formed and something like this O minus here and here is a hydrogen now we have now we will do alone condensation reaction alone reaction I hope you all know this alone we have a two molecule of aldehyde right uh, so we will do here alone right so what happened see this O minus will gonna come back and this double bond will shift and attack on this carbonyl position and then this O minus will get and then what we do then you will get something like this R C O minus here we have H and here you will get something like this uh, mm, yes R carbon yes this is our something like this and it will take a proton from the solution and become OH right and when it become OH then what happened R C OH we have H here and C double bond O here is the H now here is a R and here is a proton also right so what happened now the now alone condensation will be happen right so the base will take proton will take proton and this bond will be gonna here and this will be here then what happened you will get something like this R C O H then C O minus here is a H here is a H and here will be the R right and here is a hydrogen now what happened because in the you all know that in the aldol condensation there will be oh one second uh, wait yes yes it's uh, yeah it's true yeah yeah, it's fine so what happened uh, when the O minus charge will get a comeback this O minus charge will get a comeback here and then this bond 
will will push to this double bond and this OH will be released by the internal attack right here the here this mechanism is called even CV elimination even CV elimination conjugation right even CV okay because here we have uh, by the help of a conjugation we are removing the OH that's why that's why this mechanism this step this step is a even CV elimination conjugation right I hope you all know this okay and then you will get find something like this aldol condensation product uh, something like this wait let me change the color okay so you will get something uh, R here double bond here hydrogen and now here R okay you will get this product alpha beta unsaturated ketone you all know that you all know in the aldol condensation you will get a product alpha beta unsaturated ketone and this is the product of after we have done the condensation reaction this is not our final product okay so now we have this imine is present in the in the uh, in the solution also because uh, the one mole of uh, the one molecule of aldehyde will react with the NH3 and the imine have been formed here right this is our imine and now we have got this also compound now the reaction will be happen between this and this imine and this alpha beta unsaturated ketone from this reaction now you will get uh, a pyridine synthesis okay so now let's do how the reaction will be happen between this imine and between this this alpha beta unsaturated ketone right so wait let me erase all uh, let me erase all this slowly slowly okay so that i can copy okay So we have here, so we have here imine and this uh, and this compound uh, R C double bond N H here, right? Here is hydrogen, and we have uh, uh, we have something like this compound. Uh, wait, let me make double bond here. Here is a double bond, right? R here is a R and here is a hydrogen okay fine now I am erasing this all the right side part okay Okay, fine. Now we start. Okay, see what happened. Uh, this, this, this nitrogen. This is our imine, right? This is our imine, and this is our alpha beta unsaturated ketone. Okay. So what will happen now? This nitrogen lone pair will do a Michael addition on this double bond, right? Michael addition on this double bond then this bond will be shipped here and then you will get something like this so, so now the product you get something like this here is a R you have yes uh, here is a O minus and this double bond will be shipped here you have here also R and you have here nitrogen also nitrogen then after that we have here double bond and then we have something like this here is a R right uh, so yes 
here is the h okay fine so now what happened uh, and here is a hydrogen also okay and here is a positive charge on this on this nitrogen so now what happened uh, this o minus will gonna come back right and then this double bond will sit and take this take this proton take this hydrogen let me show you take this hydrogen okay right and then and then after that this bond will be going to shift here and then the nitrogen will become neutral okay and there will be formation uh, formation of something like this molecule see uh, here we have r double bond o here we have h right and now we have something uh, here we have n and we have double bond here we have r and hydrogen here lone pair here and we have r right okay so now now what will happen so now what happened this is a this lone pair of nitrogen because we know that the carbon is a good liquidifier so that's why we have to delocalize this nitrogen lone pair here and then and then this double bond will attack on this carbonyl position because carbonyl is a because carbonyl is a electron deficient center so that's why we have done by carbon attack right not just by the nitrogen attack this will be wrong okay we also know that carbon is a good nucleophile than nitrogen so that's why we are doing here first delocalization of a nitrogen lone pair here and then we are doing attack by this double bond from this carbon okay and then this bond will be shipped on this oxygen and you will find something like this okay you will find something like this let me put the in the charge my laptop is getting discharging okay yeah now fine okay so now what happened you will see something like this there will be the uh, one two three four five six six member ring formation will be occur here and this is our six member ring let me show you nitrogen here okay and we have here one second six member ring formation will be occur like this we have here r we have double bond here right okay here is the hydrogen positive charge here and now here is the H and here because uh, this O minus I hope you all get this it become O minus here is the hydrogen and now here is the R here is also R and here is the hydrogen okay so what happened this O minus will take proton from this position this O minus will take proton from this nitrogen hydrogen okay and it will become like this and then after nitrogen become neutral okay nitrogen become neutral and you will find something like this nitrogen here you have a double bond here r here is a oh and here is a r and here is CH2R and yes that's all okay and here is the hydrogen now what happened to so so our purpose is to make a pyridine ring so that's why there is a driving force to make this ring aromatic okay so to make the ring aromatic to make the ring aromatic we will have to we will have to do something and then this this hydrogen will will be uh, will be deprotonated and then this OH will be leave and you will find something like this 
uh, let me show you here okay and you will get something like this see here you will get nitrogen here double bond here is a R double bond here here is a R and here is a R right but now after this but now you can't remove anything now because uh, uh, still this uh, uh, still this compound is not aromatic okay uh, still this compound is not aromatic so what we'll have to do and also and also we do not have any living group here and or any OH group here so that uh, by the by the help of a deprotonation we can we can make this ring aromatic but there is no no any such living group okay so we have to there is only one option we have to oxidize this we have to oxidize this we have to do auto oxidation auto oxidation auto oxidation uh, you can see by the symbol here oxidation that can be done by the help of a ddq okay ddq i hope you all know the ddq okay ddq is a oxidizing agent that will make the ring aromatic okay so by the help of a ddq you can make this compound into aromatic right so you will get something like this after the aromatic this compound will be formed something like this here is a r here is a r and here is r right let me erase this all okay and now this is our final product of this reaction chichi bibin pyridine synthesis this is our final product okay this is our final product right okay let me write here final product this is a pyridine now this is a pyridine it is a aromatic right so this is all about the mechanism of uh, of a uh, chichi between pyridine synthesis okay so in this reaction we have we have done synthesis of pyridine by the help of uh, aldehyde and ammonia right i hope you all have uh, understand very crystal and clear okay if you have if you have any doubt then you can ask in the comment box i will reply okay so if you have uh, if you have understand clearly crystal then please like share and subscribe this our channel the chemistry portal okay uh, so on this channel i teach you only organic chemistry only only and only organic chemistry reaction mechanisms like uh, how the reaction is happening what is the mechanism behind this reaction okay so tab tak liye tata bye bye see you soon in the next episode series of organic name reaction thank you for watching my video